Hey everybody, this is Brian and welcome to the 40th LAMP tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing the final keyword. Now let's say we have a class and we've done some things to this class and we really don't want anybody to mess with it. Um, I mean, this class is so special to us that we just don't want anyone to inherit it or do anything. Well, that's what the final keyword comes into play. Hmm, whoopsie, that didn't work out too well. So we have our normal class, and we can actually extend this. We'll say class new test. So someone could go in here and actually override, or overload, I should say, our do test function, and totally destroy the magic. Let's see here. So in our original class we've done something and it's just doing something special whatever this may be and we don't want classes to inherit this and then change the functionality of it so what we can simply do I mean like save that and see that it runs so we can just say final once you mark it as final classes cannot they cannot extend it you see how we got this little syntax error down here Pneak. Class new test may not inherit from final class test on line 25. Pretty simple yet pretty powerful technique. So if you write a class and you just absolutely do not want anybody to inherit it for whatever your reasons are, then go ahead and put the final keyword in there. Um, you should know that that actually does kind of go against a bit of the spirit of object-oriented programming because what you're saying is this is the final version of this class and no one can ever extend this or do anything to it. So that's all for this tutorial. I know it was a fast one, but a uh, very powerful keyword.